Today, as we continue our study on our identity in Christ, on who we are in Christ, I want to focus on another aspect of uh, being in Christ, which has to do with the fact that we are part of one body in Christ. Galatians chapter 3, verses 27 and 28. Let's read it out together. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. So these two verses, Galatians 3, 27, 28 says, you know, when you were baptized into Christ, when you were immersed into Christ, you put on Christ. That means when you came into Christ, the baptism is the outward expression of a spiritual experience. So spiritually, you are brought into Christ. Water baptism signifies that or, you know, um, uh, demonstrates that externally. Now, when you come into Christ, what happens? You put on Christ. That means you're clothed with Christ. As people who are one in Christ, in the body of Christ, I want us to understand a few things that, that teach us how to live out of this uh, being one body in Christ. The first thing I want to bring our attention to is that the Bible says we are God's dwelling place. So it's saying this is who we are in Christ. Who are we in Christ? We are a building that's being built together to be the dwelling place of God. We are God's dwelling place. That means all of us as believers who are in Him, who are in the Lord, we are God's dwelling place. What does this imply? And I just want to highlight three implications here. Number one is this, each one must do our part to keep the temple holy. We must understand that we establish God's presence in the community. And the third uh, 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 understanding here of being a dwelling place of God is that we destabilize demonic strongholds in our city. Another aspect of, of us being one body in Christ is expressed through our partaking of that one bread and one cup. When we partake of that communion, each one of us personally our fellowshipping or our sharing in the blood and the body of Christ. That means we individually are receiving the blessing that comes to us through the cross of Jesus, through his shed blood and his body. So let me touch on a few more things here as being part of this one body. It also means that in this body there are many members and many functions. That you being in Christ also gives you and me a certain amount of responsibility for the body. We are in Christ, we are one body, and being part of that one body then makes you a functioning part of that body. And it says this body has many members, and the members don't have the same function. It means we're all there, but we all don't do the same things. Some can lead, some can teach, some can show compassion, uh, some are generous, they give, uh, some prophesy, minister spiritually. Uh, so this is just a representative list, it's not an entire complete list. It says, look, we're all part of the body and we all have some function. I want to encourage you to use whatever gift you have in to serve the body of Christ, to serve Jesus. And while we do that, keep this in mind that we are serving together. That we don't serve in isolation. You know, we serve with other people in the body. We collectively represent Christ. So as a church, collectively, we represent Jesus in our world. And so we need to think of ways by which we can together bring Jesus to our city, to our nation and to the nations of the world. And lastly, you know, we respect all churches that are in Christ and, 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 and uh, the Apostle Paul in his writings talks about churches in Christ. So uh, like I mentioned at the very beginning, it doesn't matter if there's another church, whatever the name they may be called, there's another church that they're called by another name, there's another church they're called by the ne another name, but if they are believing in Jesus Christ, we're all in Christ. And so we honor and respect all churches that are in Christ, 
Amen. We are not here in competition with other churches. We're here to com complement, work together, and bring Jesus to our city and our nation and the nations.